Hi, Bob Green here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I am looking at the Me 356 sample entitled WH+. So that is tungsten with hydrogen plus. So here it is. There is a tapering towards the end of it and it looks like the fine tip end of a welding rod um, and it has three distinct zones the top area uh, which is to the left of the frame which I call the head then there is the uh, neck and then the collar um, so this is color microscopy and we're just gonna have a quick look around this uh, try and move it out of the blur zone of the scratch Nerugo lensed here. So you can see the tip there and sort of neck and then the collar area. So it's a very silvery end on the end there and then this kind of bluey colour on the tungsten and then a, a kind of different colour down this far end. So we'll look at these individual areas in a little bit more detail. Here's a more close-up look at the tip, and we'll see if we can zoom in on this. Change the brightness, and zoom in, see what we see. So there appears to be a few cavities in spheres, uh, something we've become familiar with. Uh, obviously, uh, my, one might expect this kind of thing when you have the intensities of kind of welding rods. Was this done with high current discharges? Who knows? But certainly it does seem to have these spheres in cavities at this tip end here. Moving a little bit further down, there's definitely a sort of demarcation line there. Just pushing the table up and down to shift the focus. So this end tip behind, the sort of bit just behind the very tip of this metal uh, has these sort of long grooves in it, very similar, sorry, the same aspect as the actual rod itself.
a little bit further down now. <clears throat> Again, see that clear demarcation. And it goes into a very different kind of pattern rather than the long striations uh, in the same aspect as the tip and the, the sort of rod rather. There are these kind of like <clears throat> wavy bits. Let's have a look at this closer. Again, a little bit further down, uh, moves away from sort of wavy to a kind of flattened surface, but it's never quite flat when you look at it close. See along the edge there, it's a little bit wavy. Real close up on this section here in the middle. Shifting focus. Again, just sliding slightly further down. People can do screen grabs and shift focus, focusing. It's gone from a kind of blue tinge on the tungsten there to a kind of more browny tinge here in the colour. Seems to be these kind of like spots here. There's one there. Let's see if I can locate that better, just to the bottom. Okay, right in the center of this frame is something that looks like a spot with an area around it. It's a distinctly different color, kind of coppery color. Now dear down towards the snipped end. Perhaps this is just the kind of raw material you would expect that the rod is made from.
Anyhow, thank you for watching. This was the Mi 356 Tungsten double, yeah, so W H plus sample. Color microscopy. Thank you for your time.